Good morning and hallelujah, friends. Blessings and welcome back to Haya Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life and Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together the people of God say, hallelujah. Now today is July 7th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now let me begin this morning by asking you a question. Have you ever been addicted to something? Alcohol, cigarettes, drugs, maybe sex, possibly food, television, sports, spending money. Now, if you can say yes to any of these questions, there has been a time or two or three where you have attempted to break that addiction. And what's interesting about the human mind is that When we are craving something, it doesn't matter if we've been to treatment clinics. It doesn't matter if we've been to AA meetings. It doesn't matter if we've been to Bible studies. When that temptation begins to press in upon us, we become so tunnel visioned that we forget everything we've heard. All the remedies, all the antidotes, all the Bible verses, the lust, the desire To fulfill and satisfy that need of the flesh is the only thing that matters to us. In the same manner, there are many of us that desperately need and love the Lord Jesus. And when everything is going our way, when those mountaintop experiences occur, it's easy to sing praises unto our Lord. But what about when we've lost a loved one? What about when we've lost our job or we've lost our income in some way? What about when we've been violated or taken advantage of? What about when we have been stripped bare of everything that we hold dear in this life? What do we stand upon then? That's what Jesus meant when he told the story about the winds blowing against the house beating against that house. And if it's not upon a firm foundation, it will be absolutely destroyed. But if it has been built upon a rock, it will withstand all the storms of life. Maybe it's something as simple as I often endure myself when you wake up and the day just doesn't feel right. Everything is off balance. You would rather hide away in a corner Shut yourself away in a locked closet. You certainly have no desire to leave your house and to interact with other people. What are we to do then? Friends, as our text tells us this morning, we are simply to rely upon the hope that lies within us. We look past and beyond the dark days of this world, the dark circumstances of this world, And we trust in the promises of God that he is keeping us. He is sheltering us. He is protecting us from the events that take place in this life. And although the storms of life beat against us, maybe it feels like constantly, our hope is in a better day. Well, our text this morning comes from a passage where Jesus has healed a blind man. And the Pharisees are making an issue out of this because it was on the Sabbath day, which interestingly, Jesus often did. And as they begin to make their attack on Jesus, stating that he has no right or power to do such things, this man makes a simple foundational statement, which would be good for us to remember in those dark times in our life. Because we can question often many things that have taken place in our lives as being circumstantial. And even though God deserves the credit for such things, we tend to find a way to doubt the legitimacy of God's hand working in that event of our life. And this is what he says, and we should repeat often in John chapter 9, verse 25. One thing I know. Whereas I was blind, but now I see. Often when speaking with others who are not a follower of the Lord Jesus, they want us to explain so many things to them. 
and many of the things that they question, we too want to know because we truly don't have all the answers. But pushing all of those debates, all of those questions aside, if we have truly been born again, we can say this one thing I know. I may not understand end time events. I may not understand predestination. I may not understand or be able to explain many of the things that the Bible teaches. But this one thing I know, I was blind. And now I see. Friends, I truly hope that you can say that this morning. I truly hope that you can go back in your mind's eye and remember your days of darkness. And then you can recall that moment when you stepped into the light and your life forever changed. And then you can say with the psalmist in Psalm 96, O sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord, all the earth. Sing unto the Lord, bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Well, friends, it is my hope that if you're having one of those dark days today, that you will begin to rejoice in the Lord for he is greatly to be praised. Amen. I love you, friends. Now, as he wills, and until next time, I'll see you on the next video.